Well, hello and welcome to the Points of Interest podcast. This is the most generic podcast on the internet. My name is Josh Ox. I am the 303 Ninja. And right over there, he is my podcasting partner for life. He is the other guy. It's Mr. Francis Fernandez. Pull out your cigars and your glass of konjac. You sit back and watch a film of robots turning into other things. It's a matinee. Not like the Elon well, Musk's it's a, robot. That's not five o'clock mountain time really isn't a matinee time anymore, is it? It is. Oh, okay. Time. Yeah, that's so a, it's a matinee episode. up until six. Okay, well, then it's a matinee episode of the points of interest uh, here on a Saturday. Nice. We didn't announce it or nothing. Just show up. I mean, we did now. <laughs> I mean, we did just stare on Twitter. I mean, it's on Twitter. But yeah. like, you got like a 30 second heads up that we're going to do something. Yeah, whatever. You don't. Need, <laughs> you don't need to know. We just show. Did up you see the? Did you, did you see the Optimus robots that Elon showed off the other day? Oh, uh, I saw a brief clip of some robots walking, and I got scared and stopped watching. Uh, there was a bartender robot. There's a bus robot where it just buses people around there's mm. a taxi robot car bus or and boss then there's robot people bus oh, okay not boss. boss sadly not boss but a bus that'll roll people around in a, in a robot and then the robots apparently are going to do everything for you mm. they'll mow your lawn they'll clean your car they'll wipe down your house will they wipe down me they will if they need to <laughs> need it if you need a robot to wipe you down, I'm sure you can get one to do it. Can I get one that looks like Lucy Lou? They, they kind of have, yeah, you probably could. I think you probably <laughs> the Futurama could. Futurama reference there. No. <laughs> get a Lucy Lou bot. Lucy Lou bot, Jesus. Yeah, Sad, sadly, uh, hasn't made a film in, oh, she made a film recently. Oh, hello, Pearl. I want a rope about to walk right down to my house. And my friend Josh, yes. Well, you know, I'm a dirty boy sometimes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I don't know. I don't really know if I needed to hear that, but okay. <laughs> uh, you know, Francis, as I discussed earlier, before we hit record, you know, yes, we, uh, of I woke up, woke up, not on the, well, I guess kind of on the wrong side of the bed, but more of a, on, on the wrong side of the alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Gave myself Fox. nine minutes to get to work. That's, you know, 10 minutes away. So that didn't work <laughs> out very well. Well, at least you feel rested. Uh, I, I mean, I wish and I worked till <laughs> like eight o'clock last night and then have to be at work at six is that's a quick turnaround. Well, how are you feeling? Um, I mean, I'm, everything is helped by my, oh, it's all blurry, <laughs> but my oh, drink of choice with all its tea goodness and the caffeine that's in it. I'm glad I introduced you to liquid death. I, it's, <laughs> you know, so I mean, it's funny it's the... last night, actually I got the, the old, the old school, Arizona sweet iced tea. Mm. Mm. And I was up <laughs> very late because of the 100,000 milligrams of sugar that is in the thing. Uh, that, that's <laughs> probably why I slept through my alarm. Because <laughs> while I was sleeping, I yeah, had a sugar crash. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll feel I'll feel that way. I just ordered I just ordered a box of Arizona energy drinks, so we'll see how that works. Well, you know what I saw in the uh, the grocery store the other day, Mountain Dew. What'd you see? Mountain Dew has a forty. Well, is it a fort? No, it's a tall boy. It's on a forty. Yeah. It'd be sweet if it was. I mean, it'd just be cool to see Mountain Dew forty, but it's a tall boy. <laughs> um, yeah, that, there's some. It's Baja alcoholic Baja Blast. I don't have a problem with this. I've never had Baja Blast, so I don't really care. The only issue I have with it is it's the same can design as the rest of their Mountain Dews. 
Clearly, it's a tall boy. Hard Mountain Dew. Hard. Yes. Hard Mountain Dew. Hard Mountain Dew. As if Mountain Dew wasn't extreme enough for you. Now we add 5% alcohol. <laughs> you re- you're right. They're, they are they are gearing and advertising to children. Mm-hmm. Like, this is insane. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is not. Uh, speaking of Arizona, adults. the company that we speak yeah. very highly of most of the time. You know, unless they keep me up too late with all the sugar. Uh, oh, that too. They too have a hard iced tea that has the same exact can design as as like uh, the raspberry tea. Very similar. Uh, even the, the lemon iced tea, I believe, is more similar to their hard iced tea than the raspberry can. But do they have these cool animal logos like in their Mountain Dew? With a shark, an eagle, and a tiger, <laughs> which are, I'm sorry, ridiculous. I didn't, it's I didn't, I didn't grab any of the cans. I just happened to walk by the the tall boy, you know, fridge, and I was like, "What the hell?" I, like, I stopped, and I was like, "No, yeah, okay, that's that's a tall boy of Baja Blast. Interesting. This is this is really funny to me. This is it's it's pretty crazy. Just." that these drinks exist. All right. Well, cool. Good. There you so, go. So, you know, for go all you, for all you, you know, extreme, you know, rollerbladers, oh, fucking who drinks Mountain Dew? <laughs> I don't know. Stereotypically. You know? But now you can, you know, now that you're over 21, now you can get your, mm-hmm. your Baja Blast. You can go get the tacos at Taco Bell. Go to the grocery store and get alcoholic Baja Blast. And then you could just keep the night going because you're usually getting Taco Bell when you're drunk anyway. That's kind of true. That's kind of true. Really, the only thing that pairs well with Taco Bell is alcohol. So there you go. Perfect. Oh, man. All right. Well, good to know. Thanks for the share. (laughs) Well, you know, speaking of um, pairing things. Yes. I I got to do something this past weekend uh, that a lot of people pair with alcoholic beverages since we're talking about that too um i tried a cigar for like the first time since i was a kid like high school age i guess tried a cigar as a kid i mean like high school age a buddy uh, around high just after high school a friend of mine went to boot camp came back we all celebrated him coming back and with a cigar Uh. and i didn't know how to smoke one then i probably inhaled a couple times probably a bad idea i don't recall and since I don't rem- remember, it's probably a bad idea. Um, but I knew it, it, it didn't do didn't do anything for me. Fast forward, mm-hmm. I'm 47. I'm sitting in the backyard of my best friend's house, and he says, "Let's smoke a cigar." And I'm like, well, "I mean, sure, why not? I'll give it a shot." <laughs> sure. You know, we're we're up for trying things, so why not? It just I I know it was fully lit because. The whole thing was lit and, you know, building an ash. But every time I puffed on this thing, I produced no smoke. So, like, I, maybe I don't know how to fucking smoke a cigar. But maybe you're supposed to treat them like the candy cigarettes and you're supposed to blow instead. <laughs> and so that way. <laughs> that's that's the whole idea. <laughs> Got it all wrong this whole time. No, it was, oh, wait, it was uh, very uh, odd. Well, like the cigar I got, I got two of them. So, you know, I can share it with my best friend. And I think it was rated good as a good beginner cigar as well. I, I, all the things were lining up and all I tasted was wet grass and not in a good way. That's probably what you're supposed to taste. I don't think there's yeah. a good way to fucking taste wet grass, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't, I got about, maybe a third of the way down. And I was like, I don't think this is a hobby for me. Like I, all I've done is hold it basically. (laughs) I am puffing on it and nothing's happening. And then I'm sitting across, you know, from my best friend who's just producing clouds of smoke, the same exact fucking cigar. So like. Puffing down the air. Yeah. I don't know what I wasn't doing right. But I don't think cigar smoking is the hobby for me. I'm willing to give it one more chance just to 
you know, make sure I do it properly or something. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I didn't cut it right. I don't know if it, like there, I have I have I, just, I know it was lit because, like I said, the whole ash it was a whole ash that was burning and building. <clears throat> You're not supposed to cut both ends, right? You're only supposed to cut one end. You cut the the end that you suck on, man. The the no, I thought you cut the end that you lit light. No, you, you cut the because the end of the cigar is capped, so you got to open up the cigar right. on the mouth end. So that's right. So people, you know, there's all different kinds of cutters. He had a V cutter, so mm-hmm. it cuts a V notch in the in the mouth end of the cigar as opposed to just a straight okay. cut. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know, know what I did. I, I've never having never done it myself. I don't yeah, I don't know. But um it, Pearl did say though, she did they, that they tried the various flavors hmm. of alcohol Mountain Dew and they're okay. <laughs> Which I'm, I mean, Mountain Dew in general is just okay anyway. Fair. Probably as okay Fair. as a cigar, you know. Maybe cigars taste as okay as a Mountain Dew, but I can't. But here's imagine. the thing: like the, the there's like cigar assholes that, that there's just like wine assholes and cheese assholes and gotta know. get those Cubans. Not even that. Well, they're just like oh, I, they Man, take a puff and they're like oh, oh I, I I taste cashews and coffee and. You know, this and that. And, or you get some wine asshole that's like, oh, I can tell what kind of grapes these are. You know what I'm saying? Got chocolate. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, all I taste, taste like is almonds. wet grass and no, there's no smoke. Like when you smoke a cigar, shouldn't there be smoke? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to smoke a good cigar. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't Clearly, know. I don't either. Because like I said, the, the cigar I got, I, they said... I, it was about 45 minutes to an hour long smoke, like on average. At the half hour mark, I look over and my best friend's like almost done with it. I'm like, so, Jesus Christ, man. To... Like, <laughs> but if you're not supposed to inhale, what's the purpose? Like, what's the, what do you get out of it? Is it just the taste of the smoke? Yes, I guess. You're asking the wrong person. Okay, yeah. I, that, don't, I don't get it. Like I, I don't. I, the whole time, France, I'm right with you. The whole time, I'm like, I don't get this. What What's the fun part of this? Where's the in, Where's the part where people are like, Oh, I enjoy a cigar. This helps you enjoy a cigar. I'm not enjoying any. I'm just like, How hard you got to suck on this thing? <laughs> at one point, yeah. at one I'm point, big. my my best friend he says, Hey man, what do you think? And I went, Honestly, I want a joint. Because at least with a joint, one, I can smoke it. I can produce smoke. Two, there's flavor. And three, there's an effect. With this, I'm not getting any of those those satisfactory things. In fact, all I'm doing is just, I feel like I'm just holding something. I mean, you are, <laughs> right? That's kind of, that's it. It's like, oh. Yeah, I'm just holding on to a, a smoldering piece of paper. I don't know what to tell you, man. It, it was. Yeah, it at was. Least you tried it. And you, you can cut that out kind of out of your your bucket list. You you smoked the cigar, I or mean, you it, attempted. It was never on the bucket list, but I know I know what you're saying. Yeah. And here's the thing, <laughs> because that was my experience. The whole afternoon, leading into me going to go see Transformers. Haha! Look at that. Um, mm. I was irritated. And then why? Because I, ex- I built up this experience of smoking a cigar. I thought I was going to smoke a cigar and have a good time. And, you know, I, I mean, I still got to hang out with my best friend and chit chat and, you know, yeah. The sharing experience. It just wasn't a very good one on my end. So like, I was just irritated because I built up this thing that it was going to be flavorful and, and it, it was just disappointing. Just get um, <clears throat> just get a, you know, 
you get a vape pen or something. At least you get something out of it. It's easy to smoke, and you're guaranteed something will happen. Sure, <laughs> you're guaranteed something. Sure, and I mean, I mean, again, that's why I'd like I'd rather just have a joint because then I, you know still, yeah. I'm still smoking something with you. I'm not sitting here with a True. with some fake marijuana. True. Dink dink. Um, did he do uh, <clears throat> marijuana cigars? Is that a thing? Like a blunt? Yeah, but blunt's not that big, is it? It can be. Blunt's is, uh, the, the thing about a blunt is he just needs to be a cigar wrapper. So, uh, oh, I see. I see. That's what makes it a blunt. So it doesn't matter how you know if you got the a big ass leaf, go ahead and wrap it. If you got enough weed. It's go all. Ahead. It, the only limit is your imagination. Is a, basically, I, guess, I mean, you should look up. Category. You should look up joint rolling competitions. Joint rolling, dink dink, quote unquote, is way out the door when you start making shapes like dogs and knights of shining armor with swords and shit. Like, how do you even smoke that? <laughs> okay, uh, I I will look this up. You should. It's because now I didn't I didn't realize there was like animals and stuff to like all kinds you know, of shapes. Impre- it, 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 I've seen all kinds of different things. It's insane. And the, I don't even know how much weed is in any of these things or if it's just all paper just bunched up and shit. But they say all of them are smokable. Okay. Well, I'll, I will I will have to look this. Yeah, I this pitch a, a fit it, trying a to roll a fucking regular size joint, much less a blunt or a fucking, you know, dog sitting in a chair. It, it's... Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> what? There's a ship. It's a guy. There's a rocket ship. There's Medusa. Wow. Yeah. Don't wow, look at. Wow, don't wow. look at Medusa. Wow. What the hell are you doing? I know. I'm already. Well, I mean, I I thought the whole purpose was to get stoned. Or to get rock hard. <laughs> either I think either way. You only get two thousand bucks for this. You want to get two thousand dollars as, as a grand prize for this? Oh, for your rolling, roll, your yeah, rolling for the abilities. rolling paper competition, your rolling yeah. dexterity. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I like I said, I can't even roll a fucking joint without saving. You know, it looks like a fucking pregnant whale most of the time when I'm done. All right, uh, nice. but yeah, okay. I, I well, did. Glad you got to try. Well, I'm 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 glad I. And willing to give it another shot because that wasn't a very good experience. Um, but as I alluded to, I did go finally see Transformers 1. I'm like one of the last people to see it. And it was clear that I was one of the last people to see it because there's only like six people in the theater, I think. That also could have been well because my dumb ass, first of all, ordered a ticket to the wrong fucking theater. So when I go in and I'm like, here's my QR code, they're like, wrong theater, dipshit. I'm like, oh, but I'm already here. So I had to cancel How that. did you, what, did you? Oh, yeah. I had to cancel. cancel the ticket and then buy a ticket at the place that I was at, which was fine. Because I could do it all from the same fucking Fandango. Why don't you pay an extra dollar? Why not? <clears throat> um. So, and because I'm panicking, because I know the times are getting close, I pick the first showing I see, don't really read it, and then as I she scans the thing, she goes, make sure you grab your 3D glasses, and I went, uh, can I switch it to something else? She's like, nope. I'm like, damn it. 3D doesn't really work on me, especially now with glasses. It really doesn't work. It didn't really work to begin with. And also, why are we still using a technology from the seventies? No, it's not the red and bl- blue. It's that's three three D is three D is three D. I don't care fucking yeah. what color your lenses are. It's still shitty technology that didn't work back then. Why are we using it now? Oh, it was cool. I like red and blue. The red and blue <laughs> glasses. Those those are fun. Anyway, go on. Yeah, I so. just, it just I it, it just doesn't really work. So there was, I could see yeah. some depth, but really it just doesn't work. Um, yeah. But despite that, 
despite not being not really being able to see everything I wanted to see. It was a fucking great movie. It was. Uh, we now both we can talk about it. We both, yeah. Now that we can talk about, it, especially now because we're so late on everything, uh, which is a theme for all the things I got going here today. Eh. Um, eh. we 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 talked. I think the last episode, or maybe it was before we hit record of the last episode, but you talked about Steve Buscemi being Starscream. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you really wanted to get my take on it. I fucking I loved it. did. Yeah. I loved it. Especially after his voice box got damaged a little bit and it became a little bit more high-pitched. Well, it became Starscream. Like, yeah. he, he got the... It, it, they explain how he gets the weird distorted voice, but... Every uh, spoilers from here on out, but everyone is here on the Transformers roster, essentially. Yeah, they really Jazz makes a cameo. Yeah, thankfully, since like what 2017, <laughs> something like that, where he just gets taken out in the first movie 2016, whenever the first sa- movie came out. You get Soundwave, you get the satellite guy, whatever Shockwave. His name was. Shockwave. You get satellite. like you get, what you satellite get a few of them. guy? What satellite guy are you talking? The purple about? one, the purple with like the the thing at the chest. Oh, right? okay, yeah, yeah. Shockwave. He was a laser gun originally, and then uh, you know when they couldn't make gun? when they couldn't make guns anymore, he became a spaceship of some sort. They let they let um, Megatron have his have his gun. Yeah, but he doesn't turn into a gun. Technically, I mean a tank. Is just a gun with tracks, but wheels. Yeah, but physically, I mean, because <laughs> yeah. Megatron G one Megatron was a uh, P thirty eight pistol. That was it. It's okay. So here goes the fucking geek part of the fucking show. Do it. So his name in in Transformers one is D sixteen, which was the toys designation when it was a part of the Takara toy line, I think it was micro change or diaclone. I can't remember which one Megatron dink dink was a part of, but there's two or three other gun molds. And in Japan, they were just called gun robo. And then when transformers, Uh, Because Transformers, the brand, is a U.S. brand. When Transformers wow. went over to Japan, they didn't. They the Autobots. I can't remember what the Autobot name is in Japan, but I think maybe it is Autobots. Uh, but the Decepticons are Destron, and mm-hmm. they all got numbered designations, <clears throat> and the the mm. gun that we know as Megatron was D16 in Japan. I I just thought it was a cool I mean, cool and also weird at the same time because you get Orion Pax and D16, which is clearly not a name. <laughs> well, uh Bumblebee he was B120 something. But then you got Alita uh, 1. I mean Alita is a you know Alita 1. I mean you could yeah, that's not a real name. Jazz is a name. Yeah, Jazz. I mean, yeah. sure. But you know what I'm saying. Um, Hound. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. No, Starscream had a name. Everyone had a name. You're right. Yeah. There were only a couple of people with with number and letter designations. Um. Also, cool detail on D16 Megatron. His um helmet if you will the the exterior of his head was dark like a dark shaded black color almost if you go back to the original mm-hmm. uh, commercials for the marvel comics and in the early marvel comics megatron had a dark shaded head <clears throat> i mean this cartoon was made for transformer nerds i think it was made like by Transformer Nerds. By Transformer Nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, 
they threw in curveballs. They threw in like deep cuts. They threw in some good stuff in there. I mean, ones I didn't know, like the stuff I didn't know about. But like, you know, there was some surface level stuff. Where I'm like, aha, I got, I got the joke. Okay, I get it. The the so, the, the Stan Bush jokes, you know. on point. Totally on point. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the six people in the theater all giggled so that, you know, they got the joke. They understood. Um, I really want, once Soundwave showed up, I was like, tapes, where are the tapes? None. No yeah. Tapes. None. No I was tapes. really surprised. Yeah. We'll see what they do because it's definitely open ended for a sequel, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Cause they're not transforming yet into human vehicles. They're they're still space vehicles. Yeah, they're still transforming. That was the best part I think of this movie is that it was a Transformers movie. It yeah. wasn't a human in Transformers movie. It wasn't a Shia LaBeouf right. in Transformers movie. It wasn't a pretty well, scantily clad girl in Transformers. I mean, nothing. There's anything wrong with that? I'm just saying, you know, like it's a Transformers well, movie. You heard the, I guess they're producing it now, but they, you, you heard the news on, on the next live action Transformers movie, right? I keep hearing rumblings, but I don't pay attention. What have you heard? Uh, oh, you're not paying attention. Then. That they're going to do it, and that's about all I heard. Okay. So the, the aside, I, I did a lot of research when Transformers 1 came out because I'm like, oh, interesting. Hmm. Like, it's a Bay film. Like it's Michael Bay produced the film. It's hey, he's you know. the executive producer. I believe I saw. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he made the film good for him. He didn't make it dumb. Um, uh, I'm assuming now Michael Bay has like the rights to transformers or something. I mean, not the rights, but like the movie, the movie, the movie exclusively rights. like movie rights. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the next live action apparently is the, Long awaited and most sought after Transformers J. Joe crossover movie. Oh, oh yeah. I, yeah. I mean that last that last uh the hell is that Transformers movie called? The Beast Beast uh with I don't know, Beast Wars. It was Beast not, it's not Beast Wars. It's I don't remember. It was Beast Wars, but it wasn't Beast Wars. It was Beast Wars, yeah, it wasn't called Beast Wars, yeah. but yeah, it was Beast Wars. It was Wars. Beast Wars. Uh yeah, because yeah, that's the one that had um Pete Davidson as, as one of the Transformers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, that yeah. one was, I mean, it was fun. That was a good movie. And it like, it, yeah. At the end there with the Transformers yeah. crossover, the, the first GI Joe movie, the Transformers, the GI Joe, I meant first trans, uh, God damn it. First GI Joe movie. Um, right. Was fun. Second yeah. one. People like it. I mean, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, they gave, didn't like that one. They gave they gave Snake Eyes lips and a mouth under his mask. Like, in the first one, that was the first one. Okay. Yeah, in the second one, he got rid of the mouth and the lips. Okay. <laughs> so he had this thing. It was just. I mean, that second one was just. It was kind of out there, and you know, whatever. It was fine. And then yeah, it's fine. Did they do another one? J. Joe. Yeah, they did a an origin story for uh, Snake Eyes. That's it. Okay, so they didn't do another <laughs> that. They didn't do anything else. <laughs> yeah. They haven't done another G.I. Joe movie. They did something that one of the characters has something to do with. Right. And they gave him, they showed him, they show you his face in like the first two minutes of the movie. And they talk, and he talks. And he talks. Not being able and then he talk. takes his mask off yeah. and he talks more. Yeah. No. It's an origin story. He, he talked originally. And then he talks at the end of the movie still. So I don't know what to tell you. He's always, he's always going to talk. No. Just well, out. just like Bumblebee. He's always going to fucking talk. Um, but this in this movie, in this movie, though, but, I didn't mind. Yeah. It, it was funny yeah. because I really didn't know who was in this movie. I went into this. Oh. Like, I just wanted to go see it because it looked fun. Yeah. And as always... I see the first teaser, I see the trailer, and then I'm done. I don't watch interviews, I don't watch breakdowns, I don't watch nothing. No TV spots even. 
if I can avoid them. Um, yeah. So I didn't know who was in the movie. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, why does this sound like Thor? <laughs> like, he, he doesn't really have his accent, sounds like, that's true. He really sounds like Thor, though. The whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, and that sounds like Key and or Peel. I'm not sure which one, but it's definitely one of the two of them. And then the Megatron, I was like, I don't know who the hell this guy is, but I'm convinced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, well, he's the one that always has a different actor playing him. So Megatron Maybe recently, had um, recently. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Frank Welker didn't do Megatron in the Bay movies up until yeah. the the dinosaur one. Oh yeah, the he last was night. he was Megatron. No, 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 the one before that, the dinosaur one. Oh, yeah, Beast the dinosaurs were in the Beast last Wars. last night one. No, there's the one before Wars, that okay. they were in. As well, they're in the. Doesn't matter. Uh, it does because like we were talking about something and I forgot what it was. The voice of the Megatron. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So uh, Frank Welker, he was in the third or fourth or fourth and fifth. I don't recall, but he was Soundwave throughout, and it was Agent Fucking Smith. That was in, it played Megatron in the first two or three. Hugo Weaving. Yes. And he did a decent yeah. job. I think he did a decent job. Um, there's a, uh, there's been a few different pe- people in animated that have played Megatron. Yes. But Frank Welker, it, he's, he's missed. And at the same time, this guy did a great job. Whatever his name is. The only problem, uh, yeah, Tyrese, uh, Tyrese Henry, Tyrese, I don't remember his name. Yeah. Um, but uh, for Mega, for for Optimus though, Peter Cullen is kind of the voice. He really yeah. is, and and, and I yeah. knew it wasn't as soon as Orion Pack started speaking. I knew it wasn't uh, yeah. um, um, Peter Cullen. That's what I'm saying. The whole time I'm like, why does it sound like Thor? Is it is it Thor? Well, I can't think of his name. Chris Helmsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. He does the voice at the end when he's the Optimus voice, straight yeah. up Optimus. Yeah, he, he does the leans voice that way. He's not totally there, but he leans there for sure. And he he was coached by Peter Cullen to get the voice, mm. so it wasn't like he was just trying to, you know, he was coached by Peter Cullen. So That's awesome. It was a yeah, it was a a true handoff of the of the voice. I wouldn't be mad if Chris Hemsworth from from here on out voices um, Optimus, or at would, least you know <laughs> does in something so you keep getting used to his voice in case Peter has to stop doing for the it. movies. Yeah, for the movies yeah. for Transformers Two and the new Transformers GI I mean, Joe. Those movies. he he could be Peter Cullen could come in and be Hound. Or he's, 17 okay. other different Autobots. Peter Cullen is 83 years old. He is. Let the man retire. Sure. <laughs> uh, other other things I thought were cool about the movie, the, the what they call them? The High Guard. The High Guard. I love that the High Which Guard was, um, were all made up of nothing but Seekers. Nothing oh, but yeah, Jets. yeah, they're all planes. And they were, yeah. what well, was cool because, again, geek nerd out here, the toys back in the day, the original, well, the, the original one that was repainted three times, yeah. um, the, the nose cone of the jet would fold back and reveal, yes, to the, reveal head. the head, right? Yeah. When they came out with the second set, it, they modified the original mold. So the next three jets that came out in 87, I want to say, were nicknamed by the the fans Coneheads because of the transformation left the nose cone and the head was in the nose cone. So you had the, the cone sticking up above their head. In the movie, okay. there are, 
the 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 conehead seekers as well. I was just yeah. I was impressed with the details. And they and and they're all Decepticon. Well, that too. In the end, like <laughs> mm, the fucking Optimus, yeah, cool. Bumblebee, yeah, cool. Alita, mm-hmm. yep. Hound, Jazz, yep. Mm-hmm. Megatron, you know, Decepticons rise. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I need to see it again. I want to watch it again. Definitely not in 3D because fuck that. Um, I actually want to see. It, it it looked like it was a really nice looking movie, but I you know I was just distracted by 3D not working. It's a very good looking movie. All the character models are very well done. The action scenes are great, even though again. I was really shocked to see them kill other robot, other other robots. I'm like, I mean, it, well, no one dies I mean, in Transformers, especially during the scene where, uh, um, oh, the execution, the yeah, the execution of Sentinel Prime. Um, yeah. It's just the justification of of Orion Pax turning into Optimus at the same time, basically as. Uh, yeah. D sixteen is fully embracing his evil side. He was branded he as was, as yeah. a Decepticon. Megatronus. I've been Transformers fan since I was a kid. Never heard that name ever. Sure, I never read the comics. Those... Never read the comics. Yeah. It was spoken about a lot. Apparently, a lot in the UK comics. Um. The third, the second, what's the, which movie is The Fallen in the Bayverse Transformers? Oh, The Fallen, probably the third, maybe fourth movie. Yeah. So Megatronus and The Fallen is in there is the same character. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, again, there are a lot of primes in that in that sequence. So not just Megatronus. So. There's there's thirteen primes. This mm-hmm. so again we're, since we're still in the nerd section of the pod, uh, of the show here. Twenty we're always on no, we are really <laughs> uh, twenty ten. I want to say twenty ten. Yes. The Hasbro said, "Look, we have all these different." branches of transformers that all have different origins and different stories and yada, yada, yada. We are aligning all the continuities. So we are going to come up, basically starting over essentially. Right. Yeah. So that's when they included the pro the 13 primes and gave them all names because they mentioned the 13 primes in one of the transformer Shia LaBeouf transformer movies. Because they go to the tomb of the primes, and there's 13 of them in there. So they kind of had the idea already, or maybe that was already after the line continuity. I don't keep up on timelines. Uh, but right. th- this is definitely going for the aligned continuity, where Sentinel Prime is always an asshole and, and treacherous. Um, I guess we're always going to have Bumblebee talking. I don't know. Um, He's fine. Yeah, fine. I know. I'm just talking shit. Bumblebee can talk. Uh, but fine. yeah, it, it, I didn't mind. I didn't mind. They they gave them all names. There's lore behind Alpha all of Trion. them. Alpha Trion. Alpha Trion was always there. Yeah. He was he was in the second season of the G1 cartoon. And depending on what there episode you know. you're watching with Alpha Trion, he either created Optimus Prime or the Transformers themselves. So, uh, oh, how did you like that? Where there was like one gigantic transformer that decided I will become a planet. That's, I, I think, again, part of the aligned continuity because they already had that. If you think back to the 86 cartoon, um, um, Unicron was a planet sized. Yeah, I was gonna say, but it wasn't. It- but it was Unicron. It wasn't whoever this guy was, because Unicron was separate. This is it was a different so, again, Transformers that became the <laughs> planet. We're deep, deep Transformers lore here. Yeah. In the movie, the Transformers one movie, yeah. they they speak about it at the very beginning. That do they? 
that yeah, they Primus, they did, they Primus do a, turns yeah. himself into a, a planet. His brother is yeah. Unicron. Oh. Um, they were there you go. Titans, I guess. I don't know. I think this is the name they gave them were Titans. Um and and Primus was, you know, the light side of the force and Unicron was the dark side. I don't know. Yeah, and I, I it, again, too deep for me. I just like it because I like it. True. I know. I, I hear about music. all this stuff. I you know I, I might watch a video here and there about lore, but it's just like, how many comics did you have to read to get all this shit? Well, I think they rewrote some of it, right? Like this is a yeah. rewritten history. It's not I, like and that's what know, I'm saying. One I think for one of there, there might be like an aligned continuity Bible out there that I'm not aware of. That right. you know greatly explains everything to anybody that wants to to know what's going on, basically. Yeah, you know, with the with the primes and the the matrix of leadership and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you know, yeah. despite all that, it hit, it hit everything. It hit when they fought. You can actually see which robot was which. It wasn't just a blur well, they were of color. Yeah. They are colorful, but it wasn't just they... a blur of color. Yeah, I, th- I think I have one complaint. I mean, My you can have one more complaint. than one if you want. I could. I didn't. But make the one it. I can. The only one. The only one I have is they changed the transformation sound. The sound effect for transforming mm. is different from the original, which I'm a little sad they, they I mean, did that. I'm like, just use the original. The original's great. I, I completely and totally agree with you. Um, but, you know, Taste maybe the next movie, when they get to Earth, then they make the you know actual noise. That's true. Because they are in, sp- in space, after all. I like that they treat, like... I like that the Transformers, even though they weren't called, they couldn't have been called Transformers because not all, they, the story is not all of them can transform. But anyway, um, like they treat it like a regular city. Like these robots mm. are like commuting. They're, you know, they have coffee breaks. They they have crosswalks. Like, oh, this is so it, dumb. Yeah, it's the, it's just a <laughs> a robot, you know, planet with it's a robot, robot society, lives yeah. and robot society. Yeah, they eat energon. It's like, oh, okay. I, I mean, Icon City. I thought you know, it's also kind of a throwback. Um, the original, the the episode one of the original cartoon. They, I think it's Wheeljack that says to Bumblebee that we we have to get back to Icon. It like one nice. of the first things he says yeah. in the, the first first episode. So it's kind of cool to bring that name back I think it was Iacon I think it was used a lot in the comics again didn't read them so I don't I can't confirm that hmm. uh, well good I'm glad you liked it if you haven't it seen it me. definitely wait till you know just like a Marvel movie wait until the, the, the definite end because I missed out on the after credit scene of everybody being branded Decepticons yeah. Because I did think it was weird. Like, yeah. there's Optimus saying that we're Autobots. Like, okay, that's cool. Where's the other side? Oh, yeah. credits are rolling. Oh, there's a little scene with Bumblebee. House lights are on. Yep. All right, I'm leaving. Oh, right. Yeah, the little, they talk, he already talks to his little robot gang in, in, yeah. the, in the incinerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then beheads uh, Yeah, no, both. it's nice. It was like a... It, he does because of his he has he has arm blades knife hands um oh knife hands is it knife, knife hands um yeah no i liked i liked that ending i liked i mean the 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 little post credit mm-hmm. like ah uh, the villains are like there's an uprising of villains and the planet seems big enough to where they're not going to keep bumping it they don't necessarily have to keep bumping into each other yeah Megatron can technically make his own society now, which will be interesting. I, I, so, I, we'll since you, you did mention a complaint, I guess I can throw one out there as well as I'm sitting here thinking about it. 
But what was up with the Quintessons? I don't know. Why? Yeah, did they, I don't know. What, that was what, weird. Who, who's the guy that made the alien design? What was his name? Like Geiger or something like that? Oh, like aliens. Yeah, sure. That was like, that was the, the, the type of design that these guys had kind of. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, where's... H.R. Geiger. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's the guy's name. Um, I didn't like it. I don't like it because every time they've ever shown quint- quintessons, it's there's the high leader, is the dude with the five faces, and they're kind of like right yeah. Joker faces. Yeah. They're different judges, really, but they're just different yeah. opera, if you will, opera faces. And then they have quintesson, you know, soldiers that have tentacles and fucking big ass heads, and then. You know, their their army of Sharktacons. That's that's what we're supposed to get. Not these. I don't know. That was just like, where the fuck are we going with this? Sequel, sequel. That's all yeah. sequel stuff. That's yeah. all sequel stuff. Maybe we'll get the five faces of doom in the sequel. That was an episode title. And the five finger death punch. And that was a band. All of the, not a very good one. And the, uh, <laughs> How, then the five finger discount. <laughs> ah, then you have to deal with people like me. <laughs> Not like to escort you places. Yeah. Fight in the lobby. Of Very places. nice. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Where can I go from there? Uh, oh, I, I can. Know. Since we're talking about fighting. Um, I'm a little sad. And we, the world. Oh. The world should be a little sad. That uh, we're not getting the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul murder, on I mean, fight on pay per view. Uh, unfortunately, I guess uh, Tyson's got some ulcers that are going to prevent him from taking part in this dink dink exhibition match. Uh, Francis, box. did you ever did you ever play? Uh, Super Punch Out or Mike Tyson's yeah. Punch Out. I did. Yes. I was so looking yeah. forward to seeing a video game turn into real life. <laughs> I, you know, again, he's old. He's in his 60s. Fair. You know, Fair, but he could still he, go. He's a bit aged. He was he, he was training. He was ready to go, but you know, got to not eat so much spaghetti. Whatever, well, what's his face? When the, whoever, the Paul that he's fighting against had a gut too, so like it wouldn't have been that much of it. Because all that, that much of an issue. Nasty ass chemicals in this shitty drink. Oh, and don't forget, he now has a Lunchables competitor called Lunch Lunchleys. Or, yeah, Lunchleys, I think. Hmm. So he com- he's him, Mr. Beast, and some other YouTuber combined, like made a, a Lunchables competitor uh, meal that's supposedly mm. healthier for kids, which it isn't. But, yeah, it's like, oh, we have Lunchlies now. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I'm not sad. I don't like any of the Pauls. I wish they would stop being... I hate that people like them are popular. I hate that people like them, who are obviously awful human beings, <laughs> are, like, have... A humongous, a humongous following and a big fan base. Mm-hmm. I, I I genuinely hate the Pauls a lot because they're just so they're just jerks. You know, like, like I hate them. <laughs> I there's the only redeeming quality in any of them is one of them's a fairly good wrestler, and it it hurts me to say that. But the fucking guy tough, get, he gets wrestling. He understands wrestling. He's good at it, and it pisses me off that I have to say that. Honestly, but fuck the rest of them. Fuck them all. But like the parents should be taken out in the middle of the street and get the shit kicked out of them just for reproducing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, they're multimillionaires. What are you going to do? With them? I'm just saying. But yeah, I'm sad. Just saying. Like, do something with yourselves. No, I'm with you. And not be fucking assholes. They just. Yeah. 
Why don't you try and I mean, be like Bon Jovi? What did Bon Jovi do? He saved a life. Like a month ago. On a did bridge. he really? Uh, yeah, for real. It's not even a joke. Like, I'm not even trying to set you up oh. for it. Well, I am trying to set you up for something. But um, I guess he was walking somewhere in New Jersey. Or I I don't know where. I just assume it's New Jersey because that's where he's from. Uh, it's the only, yeah. And and that's, there's a lot of bridges there, I guess. Um, but there's some lady yeah. that was on the outside part of the rail. And he saw her and ran up and he went, it's your life. <laughs> yeah, I went there. So just so everybody knows, I failed myself by not securing three to four seconds worth of Bon Jovi singing It's My Life and then very crudely. Oh, that would have been really funny. Very yeah. crudely me inserting your over his my. That was that was going to be the punchline, but I didn't have the time to, to do that. I'm, I... I I know you. It was for the setup for the joke, but can you just imagine? You're this. You know, you're distraught. You're about to jump off a bridge, and Bon Jovi. <laughs> Here comes Bon like Jovi ran, and Richie bon Sambora like right there. <laughs> yeah, and the, like, and the rest bon of the band just walking down the street. Yeah, that's weird. Like that's weird, right? That's yeah, no, weird. it's it's. Like, I mean, I think... I'm I'm making light of it. I'm joking, despite despite the seriousness of of why I brought it I up. And and it, it happened like damn near a month ago now. So the, the joke's not even fucking funny. Um, that you know at this no point. works because I didn't I didn't know I had but, no idea. Yeah, like that's got to be that that's what what a what a coinky dink of of, of just life. And if that if that alone doesn't make you climb over the rail and like continue living, I don't know I don't know what to tell you, because like that's the type of shit that can happen. Yeah. When you're you know yeah, not only I, on the other side of the rail. <laughs> not that this would ever happen. I'm just going by the this, but, but let's say I'm about to if about to jump off a bridge. If like Sting or like. I don't know, just any 80s rock star came up to me <laughs> and you're like, hey, man, don't do it. I completely forget what the hell I was doing and be like, like you're it, an 80s rock star, you know, whatever. You're an uh, 80s rock star, D. Yeah. Snyder, in full D. Snyder yeah. gear. <laughs> you're, you're Rod Stewart. Why are you here? <laughs> what is what is this? What is going on? I would um, just forget everything. Um, here and comes, like, like, oh, okay. Here comes, oh fuck! I can't. Ah, oh, damn it! It's gone. Who is the piano man? Ah, uh, oh, uh, oh, I can't remember piano man. Uh, the, uh, 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 I don't remember who's the piano. So, Paul, Paul uh, piano Simon. Man. No, that's not it. Oh, put Billy Joel. <laughs> Billy Joel. <laughs> and here if comes Billy, Billy Joel, Joel walking down the street playing the harmonica. Oh, that'd be really funny. Or, or here comes thinking, here comes Eddie Money in his in his police car. To you want to save a life, sing at you, and then the lady there. from the fifties opens up the back door and sings her little fifties piece in the middle of an eighties song. Well, if they're still alive, yes, yeah, I think yes. Eddie Money's still alive. Oh man, I would, I would, I would literally just forget everything and be like. I'd be so confused and just forget everything that I'm doing. That's what I'm. That's the other part. That's the other part. Like, we we need to find this lady, but we need to ask her if she was a Bon Jovi fan to begin with, because that's what that's the story, right there. Like, I mean, yeah, maybe the story is you know why you were there to begin with, but the story is, are you really a Bon Jovi fan to begin with? And you know, your guardian angel just happens to show up. I don't have to be a, here's the thing. I don't have to be the fact that it's that dude sure. specifically is what would throw me off. Right. Like that's the only thing. Like if 
Bruce Springsteen just happens to touch my shoulder when I'm like on a bridge and it's like, hey man, USA. Don't jump. USA, man. <laughs> USA. I don't even know. Oh, I don't right. think I've Dude, ever heard that Bruce. man ever speak. I've heard him sing. I don't think I've ever heard him talk. I don't I don't know what his voice actually sounds like. Uh, there's there's a YouTube video of him doing his play. He did a, 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 a Broadway play of his life okay. intermixed with his music. Okay. And he's like, hey, man, I want to tell you about my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just like scratchy old man voice. Mm. Like, okay. Cool. So there you go. Very well, good. I enjoyed the j- joke. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I, I Like I said, I'm, I'm disappointed that I didn't... Uh... I didn't do my homework and, and, you know, risk the copyright strike for it's new to me to so make, to make, a, to, make a, to make a, to make a, a oh, joke, make something light of yeah. something fairly heavy, a little pretty heavy. Yeah, not good. She, no, no, it would have been different if something bad happened. She's alive and well. And so it's a, you can, you can totally do whatever you want to that story. Cause it has a happy ending. So you that can do whatever true. you want to that story. Um, you know, what else is kind of fun in, in, what else is we fun? can have uh you can you can uh make light of things and and enjoy despite the the content our our, our spooky season mm. movies francis it is spooky season it is officially spooky season uh that i know there's a lot a lot of people out there trying to get uh um, spooky september to be a thing I'm no, not, no, you're not. No, I didn't no. say that I was part or head or president of said movement. I said that there is people out there that say spooky September. I am not one of them. Boo. I'm I'm Boo. here. I'm here for October. October is spooky month. It is also yeah. the beginning of hockey. So, you know, my attention is is split bet- between the two things. I mean, might as well. <laughs> uh, might as well. But, you know, it, it's a great time to start watching. Everybody watches the themed movies around the given given season, I feel like, anyway. I think that Thanksgiving and Christmas is kind of all melted together because there's like nine Thanksgiving movies and eight trillion Christmas movies. And it's all one season now. I mean, if you... If you look really hard when you go to a grocery store, you'll start seeing there's a lot of a lot of Christmas and Thanksgiving starting to invade the stores. We haven't even we haven't even spooked God. anything yet, and we're already getting ready to kill turkeys that are on the edge of a bridge. All right, <laughs> that's what I have to look forward to when I go to the shops tomorrow. Yeah, the shops. All the, all the, all the, Get something for your icebox while you're at it. Yes. <laughs> I have to get stuff for my icebox tomorrow. You got you to gotta go into town. <laughs> visit the I butcher. Do. I have to go to town. Visit the shops. You know, I got to, I got, yeah, I got to make sure. Got to go to the, the, to the general, to, to make sure I hit the general store. Make hit sure the I general. hit the hyper mart. Got to hit the hyper mart. Got to hit all those, you know, got to hit all those places. Get get ready for the get ready for the long week, for the long normal week. The long we yes, the long normal. Seventy seven God, degrees. Sucks being an adult. Said, kiss my ass with your seventy seven degrees. <laughs> it, is, it is starting. I mean, it's it's still pretty warm. Most days is you know we're still hitting eighties and whatnot. But there's been some some cool days, and you feel it, and especially in the morning. Like this morning when I walk, walked outside, I was like. It is 45 degrees out here right yeah. now. It is a little chilly. It was 100 just yesterday or the day before. Jesus. So, I mean, like, you know. And you're you're pretty inland. So, like, you're feeling yeah. that. You're feeling that 100. Oh, yeah. I'm not near the coast. That's true. Not I mean, I'm closer to the coast than you are, but <laughs> not, I'm not so close that I can feel the, I mean, I yeah. can feel the cool wind. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, unless unless the lakes here are super deep and somehow connected to the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, let's make that happen. You just start submarining to California. 
Oh, well, you know, you know if, that, if, that, that, uh, that that thing's happening right now, the, the Titan submersible uh, court proceedings. Those are happening right now. That's some fascinating shit. You joke? Oh, is that happening now? Oh, yeah. Geez. They they have yeah. recovered pretty much the entire submersible, and uh, which, which includes not to be too grotesque here, but it does did include the uh, uh, what they described as paste that contained DNA of five people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't comment on that one, because uh, Jesus. <laughs> but but the but the whole thing. It was, they just, it, it, the whole thing, the, even dude. from the beginning, when you know when there was nothing but speculation as to what happened, to now finding out exactly how it was made, and and footage from people that were working for the company or were passengers of prior dives, and I saw a video yesterday. There was bolts missing from the hatch in this, in this one shot. Now who knows if they were replaced or not, but I'm just saying like, that's, you guys are at sea and there's bolts missing from the hatch. That's weird. They were using a nineties Logitech gaming controller as a means to navigate. (laughs) I mean, that's all you need to know. When when I first saw it, I was like, holy shit. I bet you the people at mad cats are having a blast right now. Cause that's what I thought it was. I thought it was a mad cats controller. See, man, I don't think Mad Cats exist anymore. Which is they sad. don't. They don't. But I mean, any generic controller to me is a Mad Cats. I mean, it doesn't matter Mad who Cats makes it; it's Mad Cats. It's kind of like Q-tip or Saran wrap, you know? Yeah, that's true. It's a it's a Xerox. It's a it's a brand. Yeah, that, yeah. It that encompasses it's a, everything. Yeah, third party controllers to me, I, that Mad Cats probably hasn't existed in twenty five years, but it'll you know, just like. You're, you're, you're fucking whatever you, I know UPN doesn't exist, but it'll always be the UPN and the WB. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the CW is. It's, it's the WB. Mad Cat, no, I, I take it back. Mad Cat still exists ex- exclusively at Walmart. What the fuck? Okay. okay. Well, maybe that's where Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate, <laughs> went and got his Logitech that's- slash. Mad Cat's controller. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, man. It's. Uh, I mean, it's really unfortunate that you know five people did lose their lives. Um, yeah. I don't. Here's where we get fucking controversial, I guess. But I don't fucking. I don't understand what the fascination is with the with the Titanic, like whatsoever. Not controversial. <laughs> I, I don't know. People get offended when you bring it, when you fucking speak poorly about people visiting or saying anything poorly. About, I mean, there are thousands of sink, sunken boats that had, some had soldiers on them, but people don't go out of their way and dive deep to go look at a battleship that sank unless it's at Pearl Harbor <clears throat> or or the one that was actually a song was written about it called the Edmund Fitzgerald. Nobody ever goes and searches that. Yeah, right? I just, so I just I don't, think, I just don't understand what the fascination yeah, of the Titanic is. I, I, I just, a, I, I don't get it. A boat sank because it hit a, an iceberg. But where I don't, I, I'll give you two. I don't get it. I'll give you two reasons. I'll give you two reasons. Please hit me. Two reasons. Number one, number one, it's during an era of the it's the 1920 or ni- 1910s that it that it happened mm-hmm. right so it's a, it's an era of it's the uh, you know the uh, industrial revolution all that stuff or whatever maybe it's passed way past the industrial revolution but it's like it's during a time of an era, it's during an era where everything's romanticized right mm-hmm. it's it's the turn of the century everything's a big deal mm-hmm. also the titanic is one of the only ships to be dubbed unsinkable <laughs> Like, that's its whole thing. Right. The whole thing about the Titanic is it shouldn't be able to sink, and it did. So I think that's why people are like, this is an unsinkable luxury liner. It's an unsinkable cruise ship that, like, this is supposed to be the best of the best, and it sank immediately (laughs) on its maiden voyage. Right. Just sank. I mean, and that's... I I think that's funny. That's not to take away from the lives that were lost. 
right? I just I look oh, at sure, it, but that's I just look at it ago. as it's a grave site, and you don't fuck with grave sites. And when you fuck with a grave site, well, that's how it, poltergeist it, happens, and fucking, you know, that kind of shit. It, yeah, but there's there is a lot of history to it. There's a lot of I, I went to the. There's still an exhibit that roams through the country, uh, the the Titanic exhibit, that has pieces of the Titanic, that has like clothing of the era, that has, um, you know, replicas of the ship and like how it sank, and it shows like how it sank and how the uh, the water filled up all the different parts of the ship and all that stuff. Sure, sure. When, so like they show the car that you're Leo right. and a lot Chase of other ships sank in and everything. Exactly, <laughs> they show and they show, yeah, they show Kate Winslet Winslet's boob, yes, you yes. know, in like well lit, um, but yeah, like <laughs> she's just I, sitting there all day. Un- <laughs> 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 sitting there, and she likes to. Be, hey, she she likes to be naked in her movies. I mean, I can't I can't fault her. She she's like, I'm just naked. I'm gonna go be um, my gonna, gonna go be that character I played, <laughs> fucking. 27 30 years ago i'm just gonna go sit and lay in the exhibit of the car i'm just gonna press my tits against the glass for 18 hours (laughs) (laughs) see if anybody notices (laughs) put them on the glass yeah uh oh oh, i forget the third thing is because people weren't didn't care really up until the titanic movie Titanic movie changed everything. Mm. Thank you, James Cameron. Thanks, James Cameron. For introducing yeah, everyone dude. to this concept. Thanks I think that's... Yeah. Thanks for making me sit that was it. in, I in think a that movie. Was it. The movie I already, is the one that did it. Thanks for making me sit in a movie that I already knew the ending of. Yeah. Well, you, did you know that that that, that the, the, the door could only hold one person and could hold them both? I mean... I didn't you know. know that. I think I, th- I think I think Leo's choice character made the right choice, you know. Yeah, he 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 got he got some he got some from a rich chick, you know. Yeah, and what is there? You know, you did it, and technically you stole a car, kind of technically. Yeah, as the kids say, he got the plap plap plap. So there you wow. go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He's either that or clap those cheeks, one or the other. I mean, you know, <laughs> either works, I guess. Uh, either works, yeah. Either one. Yeah. So I just don't. I just don't get it. I, you know, leave it alone. I it's a gravesite. I get it. You know, yeah. it, I don't understand. You know, every year around the anniversary of its sinking, there's some news agency that goes, "The Titanic is disintegrating." Well, no shit. It's fucking made of metal. It's buried under thousands of meters of water. And salt water corrodes metal. I don't see... The the railing has fallen off. And... It's deteriorated enough to where people won't be going back anyway. So you don't have to worry. It's it's done. The reason why this thing was such a big deal was because they wanted to go before it all was gone. Because it's pretty much... I get it. I Not guess worth going to anymore because it's nothing. But like they, there's a company before the Titan submersible incident happened that went down there with some sort of high tech rover, and 3D scanned the entire wrecking, the wreckage area, from mm-hmm. all different angles, and they they have a 3D recreation that you can look at it on your computer in full render. There's no reason to go down there. I have a rule, Francis. I'm with you. If you have to take your own atmosphere your or or air with you, you don't belong there. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> or, or don't rely on cheap third-party companies <laughs> to do the work for you. I, I, that, I, I, I think the Mad Cat's controller, although hilarious, was the least of their problems i think the biggest concern was every submersible that's out there 
is cylindrical, not cylindrical, spherical. And they decided to go against everything that has been learned in the past hundred whatever years of submersibles and submarines and said, no, we're going to do a cylinder and we're going to do it out of carbon fiber, which is not meant to be under pressure in the way that they, that the ocean underneath the ocean is carbon fiber is really good at tension, like longitudinal, longitudinal. I can't say the word. Going in a longit, Long- damn it! I don't know. <laughs> Longitudinal? Longitudinal? See, you can't say it either. You know what I'm trying to say, though. Uh, it's good for yeah, going lengthwise. It's not good for going in circles. All right. And when Look, he, James Cameron go ahead. has been down there a million times <laughs> to do what he does, just do whatever he's doing, and just follow whatever he's doing. You know, not bad for a former truck driver. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He was a truck yeah. driver before he was, you know, James Cameron. He was just Jim the truck driver. That's why that scene in Terminator 2 was so realistic. Mm. You're right. And all the other movies that have it's trucks like, in them the that James works. Cameron does. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? What other movie did he do with the truck? I don't know. I'm, I, I can't <laughs> I think of think. one. I just thrown it out there just to. Terminator Two is the only one I know of. Uh, well, the, the first Terminator. There was a truck scene in that one too, a truck chase. A there is truck one. Chase. There is one. Yeah, that's true. So that's two movies. I would love it. I would love it if he did that. Where in every movie he made made. There's like just a, a specific people's... scene that has a semi truck driver in it. And yeah. that's that's like Avatar would have been ten times better with the one. It, that'd be the most realistic part of the entire movie is just the truck driver scenes. What there's a truck here. There's a semi from nineteen nineteen eighty five just driving through this lush green forest. He's on the C V looking on, for pores. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's all you ever hear on a CB is what the weather is in whatever city someone's going to and they're looking for a whore. Hello, whores. What's your 20? Nice. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here. <laughs> over uh, here, big, you know, whatever the fuck radio CB handle. Oh, yeah. Never had one. Never had a handle. Uh, almost had one. Almost had one. Almost. <clears throat> I kind of wanted when I had a Jeep. I had a Jeep Wrangler. No. Yeah. I wanted a Jeep Wrangler. I had a Cherokee, Grand Cherokee. And I wanted to get a CB for it. Cause mo- more, I wanted the PA more than I wanted the CB. Yeah. Because I wanted to, oh. I wanted to grab the, 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 the mic and key it and scream at people in traffic. Oh. I'm not sure the legality on that. I don't know. I think that would be pretty shocking if you say you cut somebody off and the next thing you hear is someone screaming at you as if they're in their your back seat. That might be a little little shocking. Sounds exhausting. No way. Yeah. Well. Sometimes when your work sends you across the state, you go because they're paying you mileage. That's true. And you get to see parts of the state you'd never seen before. So there you go. Which is the best part. It was my favorite thing of working because when I, I used to drive around for my work and like discovering new places and things was like my favorite thing about that job. Everything else I hated, but that was the best part. I, I was in a mountain town for, for my job. And is it every town in Colorado a mountain town? I mean, if you watch the NFL. <laughs> every time they show Colorado, they show fucking the city of Evergreen. So, yeah, probably. Um, oh, okay. they, they show, they, they point West. And if you point West in Colorado, all you see is mountains. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, if they really showed Denver, they just show a bunch of racist assholes. <laughs> no, 
We're not Jeez. all rich. Okay. <laughs> Just the ones that Francis no. had to interact with. Um, that's all right. And there's sometimes the ones that I have to interact with at my job too, but that's just because they, that, that's, that's just because they call us names. <laughs> that's your job. Yeah, they call us names. Yeah. Uh, what did I mention though? I was mentioning something. Oh yeah. So I was in the mountain town and, uh, I looked over from the, where I was and I looked, there's like a, a property. I don't want to call it a farm, but it was a property. And on this property. Yeah were random cars parked in random places. And it was at that point I decided that I want to, at some point in my life, have property that has random cars parked in random places. Maybe with a tree growing out. It's like in movies. Or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like in the movies, yeah. If, if you have that many cars, why wouldn't you put them all together in like the same place? It's art. I just looked, it's I like just looked over it. I'm just like, this is random. Like, you got the house, you got a big garage, you got like a tool shed looking thing, you got a little horse run thing and a barn for the, the horse. And then there's just a car, and there's a grass, and there's a car buried in the grass. There's a, another building. It's all on the same property. Another building with cars kind of around it. And then down here at the <clears> low end of the property, there's another random car. One day. One, one day one this day. will be your dream. One, yeah. one day I hope to be. Perfect internet on a barn. Yes. So my redneck ass can at least, you know, cruise the internet at a decent speed. I was going to say podcast, but sure, cruise the internet. Well, I mean, it's all, it's, all, it's, all, it's all encompassing. Uh, but okay. um, that's going to do it, I think, for this week. Because I have no topics. Sure. And uh, running out of juice because I've been up for 12 plus hours. So it's uh, yeah. time to refresh, relax. And we'll be back. Not on Tuesday this week. Because I'm working late again. So we'll be back next Saturday. Probably around the same Friday. time. Or Friday. Did I say Friday? Saturday? What did I say? I thought you said Friday. Let's look at, at the schedule. Let's look at the schedule live because that makes for great podcasting. Um, I was under the impression was, if it's Saturday, that's fine too. But I was under the impression it was thir- Friday at seven thirty. Friday, Friday at seven thirty. Francis is correct. Friday at seven thirty. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was what you said. But yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Either way is fine. I yeah. can do Saturday at 7.30. It'll 7 probably be a little too, later than 7.30 because that's what 7.30 is when I actually get sure. out of work. But, you know, yeah, sometime after that. But it'll be Friday either way. So yeah. join us then. Uh, <laughs> that's everything. Francis, you got anything else? No, no, no. no uh, not that, that I won't talk about next for, on Friday. Okay. We'll, we'll save it for then. In the meantime... Why don't you tell everybody where they can find you on the internet? One place only, at AKA the other guy on all the social medias. You don't need any other information because all of my links are there. I only have one link, really, which is my website. So just go there. That's where everything is. Go there. Sincere-sarcasm.net. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, that too. But at AKA the other guy. Like, yes. Yeah. But you want to go to his, his page. That's where you go. Because you didn't say that. Yeah. Well, if you want to be oh, confused yeah, yeah. and go eight million different places. Yes. Tell me, Josh. <laughs> well, you can uh, call text voicemail 314-764-7631. It spells out POI pod one. You can get a hold of me at the POI. Uh, wait, what the hell? You can get a hold of me <laughs> at 303 Can't. underscore ninja on the Twitters <laughs> or on the Instagram. Hey at 303 Ninja. There's no, no, uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Synergy? Synergy here. None of it. Email thepoipodcast at gmail.com. Uh, check out every, uh, wherever you find your podcast. Look up the POI podcast. Look up POI podcast. Or just message me and I'll tell you where or what the link is to your favorite podcast catcher. Because I don't remember what that is. I submitted it all, but you know, 
when you go and type it in to <laughs> Spotify, let's say, it's hard to find. Just yeah. let me know. Let me yeah. know, and I will. I'll let you know. <laughs> I need a drink. Um, but we'll be back uh, on uh, next Friday, or this Friday. I don't know how you say that, but we'll be back on a Friday uh, for some more fun. The end of the song is coming. The end of the show is here. We'll see you next time. See ya.